If your browser redirects your tab to go search, that means your browser is hijacked by cyber criminals. If we go to this website, then we'll find that it is showing 404 not found HTML error on its home page. But after the infection, it is redirecting to the search results that are fake and filled with malware, spyware, trojans and ransomware links. So never click on any links displayed on this malicious website as they can cause further damage to your PC. Now we should go to investigate the root cause of hijacker. Please follow these steps. Open the My Computer and navigate to the C drive. Locate and open the user's folders. Find and open the folder with your username. Search for the app data folder. If you can't find it, go to the View tab at the top of the File Explorer and check the Hidden Item option. Once you can see the app data folder, open it. Inside the app data folder, navigate to the local folder. Look for the folder name microapp and open it. Inside the microapp folder, you'll find a file name as install.exe and possibly another folder. These files are the part of malware application and are the main culprits behind the browser hijacking. Please keep this folder open and minimize the window folder. Now press the Windows key plus R to open the run dialog. Type local app data and click OK. This will open the local folder. Scroll down and open the temp folder. This folder is commonly used by malware and viruses as a platform for executing and installing malicious program. Now we have to check some files and folder name here very carefully. Search for 8m space gmail.txt.exe and is hw3mg.tmp folder. And these files are the origin of Go Search Hijacker. Now minimize this folder and go to that folder where edge install.exe are located. Select and right click on this file. Click on properties and click on detail tabs. Check the file description. Its name is setup and install and close it. Now open the task manager and search for setup install process name there. Here you can see this process is running here. And if you don't find setup install process name there, then search for edge install.exe process name. Select on this process, right click and click on open the location. By doing so, it brings that folder where the malware application is located. Minimize it. Now first of all, we have to kill this process to end the uh, background task. And after that, now we have to disable the startup process from the starter tab. Now go to the startup tab and select this process. Right click and disable it. We will now delete all the malware files step by step. First open the folder where the age install.exe file is located. Select all of the files in the folder and completely remove them. Next, go to the temp folder and delete all the temporary files. Once all various files are removed from your computer, you can proceed to the final step. Option A. Go to Start. Type App Data and press Enter. App Data will open with roaming folder by default. Back forward to the app data and select local and select the packages. Stretch out the margin if needed. Now correctly search this folder name. Now open it. You can see there are many folders inside this folder. Basically these folders are for Microsoft's publisher ID for security purpose. 
Anyway, select all these folder and remove them nicely. Now go to the magic part. Go to the start and type Windows Power Shell. Select and open it. A blue window will open. Wait for few seconds. When you see your username, proceed with further. Now go to the video description and copy the code from there. Now paste it into the window PowerShell option. Press enter and done. Type exit and press enter. Now go to start. PC setting. Select apps tab and open it. Click on apps and features and find the Microsoft Edge. Click on modify. If there is no modify option there, then search for the advanced option. It may be there. Just click on the repair button to repair the MSS browser. After the repair process is complete, Please restart your PC and verify that your browser is functioning properly again.